I kid you not, guys, the car's been hit. Some guy was talking on his phone, and I got this wonderful guy over there coming to save me. But here it is, guys. But don't worry, this car is gonna be back. It's gonna be better. We're gonna make it faster. So don't worry about it, guys. It's just gonna be about a month, two months wait. So I guess that it's fair to say that sometimes in life things happen. It's not about what happens, but it's about how you recover from it. So we are going to do just that. We're gonna recover. Oh, and by the way, this truck is gonna be carbon fiber, baby. Hey everybody, this is uh, Zoom360 here on the go and we are here at Security Self Storage in Colorado Springs here to start up Suki and warm her up and talk about Suki as well. This is a video that I didn't want to have to make but it happened so I'm going to talk to you guys about it uh, because this car, though though we do have Lucille here which by the way I wasn't thinking about keeping her but I've decided to keep her and I'm gonna do something really special with her as well so that she could join the ranks of the mascots of the channel for road trips and stuff like that but right now Suki is like the primary like you know mask mascot of the channel that's the car that I like to take trips in for the most part but something happened I realized that in Colorado Springs, though it is a beautiful area, people in Colorado Springs are not the best drivers. And if you are watching this video, if you are, if you live in Colorado Springs, can you explain to me why is it that you guys like to brake check? As in, you guys like to slam on your brakes for no apparent reason. This I've been seeing a lot since I came here I would be driving and then the person in front of me all of a sudden slams on their brakes and of course I stop on time because I'm always three to four seconds behind them and I pay attention but I would try to look ahead and see the traffic lights are green and a lot of the cases there is nobody in front of the car in front of me that's stopping for no apparent reason it's like a constant like it's like why but anyway let me uh, go ahead and uh, uh, see see Suki I've, I've not seen Suki in a long time because things have things I've picked up at work and I'm telling you this is the unit that is going to put me to work this, this unit has been putting me to work and it's been challenging and, and it's a good thing you know lots of meetings and stuff like that so uh, yeah all right so here she is we're going to start her today but this car is going to be going through a lot of repairs beginning hopefully next week now all of those repairs i did plan to do them next year because i've been putting quite a bit of miles on this car you know because i use it not to race not to do the drag strip but this is my travel car this is what this is what i like to do road trips and i figured hey let me let me use this car as as like the main mascot car for the channel and of course Lucille will also be doing some transforming of herself but uh, I did plan to do a lot of upgrades and a lot of stuff to her next next year but I'm gonna have to do it this year so uh, and the reason for that the catalyst for that is because I got rear-ended yes for the for the third time for some reason, people love to tailgate this car. I don't know why, but people love to be on top of it behind her and it gets me nervous. But yes, 
the car in front of me now this happened about close to one month ago but but i've been busy shooting other Dub. stuff and this happened on the 29th of april which is funny because i was driving her to the shop to change the differential fluid and do a few other things on her but so the car in front of me stopped short and of course i was paying attention and i was f far away enough from them i stopped on time but the guy in front of me driving his rundown jeep not only that he didn't care not only that he was too close to me not only that he wasn't paying attention he was talking on his phone so guys don't talk on your phone while driving so needless to say i felt a huge hit behind me as a matter of fact let me uh turn on the lights huge hit behind me and bam now this is my third this is my third rear end the third time the first time it, it was a small scratch here because the guy lost control trying to stop uh, and this was during a snowstorm and the guy thought hey I have a caravan minivan I could drive like it's summertime and and I watched this guy lose control sliding so I had to literally stay there and and watch myself and just brace myself to get hit but luckily it was just a scratch and I checked underneath it was good the second time was the same thing it was a little bit of a harder hit it happened at the stop sign because it was a car me and a third guy the third guy saw the first car go so because the first car car went he went and it's like forget that I'm there I don't know what I was supposed to do. Was I supposed to just start moving too? But he just, he didn't give me a chance to move forward. It was just bam. But, and that's why that this black is there is, is because at the time he hit me, I was about to move from Texas to Missouri and the guy who painted this car was not available. So I had to go to another shop and have him do something with it. And that's why that we got this black here. So now, I got hit again so now luckily based off of what I see it's still repairable I mean there is no problem in the front no check engine light anymore that was fixed um, I actually was able to drive the car from the location where I was hit to a parking lot and I didn't see any kind of weird movements from the wheels the wheels look like they are in the same spot as they were before I don't see any kind of evidence of any thing that's severely wrong underneath um there is no fluid leaking underneath and the car has been here now like that for just less than a month so i think that pretty much that it's all about the the uh you know so i think that the only thing wrong is of course the bumpers damage this is gonna go away the trunk is damaged this is gonna go away luckily my wing is just a little bit shaky but it's still in good condition so that's gonna be removed i'm gonna so so i'm gonna replace the trunk with a carbon fiber trunk which i'm going to have to ship the car to the original shop which is in el paso texas shout out to big v designs and they are going to put the same clearish candy yellowish lacquer that they put on this wing to make um uh, that will be placed on the new trunk lid so that it'll match this and it, it and that will look really nice I'm gonna get new lights though those work those are actually not damaged at all those still work but I'm gonna replace them of course those are gone um, the the biggest damage on this side is the quarter panel but I think this is just the quarter panel so this can be pulled out and fixed and of course we're gonna have to redo the the you know quoting here okay that's gonna have to be done over of course and right here there's a dent right here that's gonna need to be you know yanked out amazingly this quarter panel is still intact so we don't have to worry about that um so yeah this is just bent this is bent out and we're gonna have to push this out and 
remove this and probably have to do some pulling out this way so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to remove everything in the car tomorrow i'm gonna be back so i'm gonna be shooting another video tomorrow i'm just gonna remove the wing i'm gonna remove the bumper i'm gonna just start to undo a lot of things okay and i'm gonna prep it prep it for it for me to drive it to to the nearest collision repair which i found a couple of them uh, were not that uh, uh, not that far from here actually They're, they are up the street so we're gonna do that so here you are folks so suki is gonna be quote unquote sort of out of commission and since it's since it got hit in the back i'm gonna take this opportunity to actually redo the car from from front to back um there's a lot of like you know uh when it goes to texas not only that it's gonna get repainted which the paint is gonna it, uh, the design will mostly stay the same because i actually like it very much but except we are going to add to it we're gonna make it look even better we're gonna add some more stuff to it so certain places where the car doesn't have anything we're, we're gonna just add stuff to it you know over here is, is is you know bland so i'm gonna have them do something with that i'm gonna have them do something for, for over here and same with the other side we might even add some things on the on the uh roof right here uh here the uh, you know the uh, you know top so we're gonna do all that and of course performance um i'm going to do something with the engine um i'm looking at having it supercharged because i figured since the theme is superman we're gonna have it supercharged and uh and of course turbo is has been done to death it's been done um and i'm not a fan of the tur I, I mean though i like the sound of the turbos the whoosh but i'm not a fan of the lag where that supercharger is instant power so i think i'm gonna go that way you no know, route so yeah so there you have it so um i'm going to turn her on real quick and just uh have the engine run for a little bit uh because i've not been here for about a week or two weeks or something like that so i'm going to do that so, so yeah so i thought i'd share this with you guys and normally and there is another reason why I'm doing this because usually when somebody because this car has been with me for so long it, it's literally become a good friend of mine it's like a member of you know it's like a member of the family and now the car is not a total loss at least not by my standard it is for the insurance company because we know which makes sense because it because it is an old car it's a 01 i have 291,000 miles on the engine and i'm going for 1 million um so i get it business wise it is a total loss but but mechanically it's not because everything from the bumper from the front bumper up to right here the back wheel there's nothing wrong with it so it's just this end so we're gonna restore the integrity the integrity the the integrity of the car and then we we're, we are going to take it from there and we we are gonna have her back even better even better than ever hopefully back in time for for import alliance fall meet in kentucky it is a long drive but hey i don't care <laughs> i love me a good road trip so we're gonna try to get this done as fast as possible we're going to have the bumper repaired because the bumper has has taken some bruises over the years with all the road trip as you can see i got cracks and everything like that and i'm thinking about even buying a second bumper so that i could have two bumpers where that i could just ship one like every two years to get redone at the shop while i have the other one mounted and stuff like that uh yeah and and as i was saying before some people would see this and get you know discouraged and be pissed off and from the time i got hit to up to now 
I never gotten pissed off. There's sometimes I was irritated because I'm like, I would like to drive this car now, but I can't because I love driving it. But this is a great opportunity for me, first and foremost, to learn all over again how to rebound from challenges. And because in life, things are going to happen. Okay, because I had big plans for the channel for this car this year, and I would have loved for this car to be, you know, be a part of it. Because again, this is like I think, like to me, you know, this is the mascot of the channel. This is, and and you know, this car has been with me from Massachusetts to New York to Europe and back and across country and all that good stuff. So it has become a friend of mine. So, um, so it's it's a good opportunity for me to show what followers do and what leaders do okay because most people would look at this and be like angry and just have the wrong perspective and be like oh i'm gonna lose the car and i can't do this over i think that this is a great opportunity for me to bounce back and and let this be like an example for somebody out there there that the first thing that you should be like like whatever it is that you are going through, the first thing that you should be looking at is how to bounce back. There's That's the situation now with Suki, and uh, I'm gonna start her up shortly, and uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, so I've talked too much, so I'm going to start the car and go on for the rest of the night. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Avengers is out, Infinity War, I've already seen it, and it's awesome. And just so you know, there's supposed to be a part two. The producers said that two years ago, so don't be alarmed like a lot of people were for some reason. <sighs> How could it end like that? Of course, there's a part two. It was told beforehand. So uh, this is Zoom360 on the go, inviting you to get up, get out, and do it. Uh, so subscribe, like, and share. I think that's it. And I'm out.